handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is the 20th of November, 2021. Going to look to feature ninth race from Aqueduct. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean around the world. There's some great racing this weekend in uh, the UK over the jumps at uh, Ascot and at Haydock. Um, those kind of races are basically prep races for those um, the big races at Sheldon in uh, March. So uh, it's like the faraway prep race. It's kind of like the uh, the Count Fleet Stakes or whatever, the, the Withers to the Derby or the um, the Holy Bull to the Derby. You know, those faraway races to the um, big stakes races, but still some great races in the UK this week and over the jump. So join, check out my previews for those races. I like a few prices in some of them. But um, let's look at the ninth race, a race I think you can make some money with that to Aqueduct. Great racing all weekend from basically Thursday until Sunday at Aqueduct. And next week should be a good weekend also. But the, the ninth race, it is the Red Smith Stakes. Great two event going for a purse, $200,000. Race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have 10 horses going to the inner turf course. The distance of ground here of 2,200 meters, if you want to go by that, or the distance of ground of a mile three eighths on the Aqueduct Inner Turf Course, 2,200 meters, a mile three eighths. The portable rails are out at nine feet. My top selection here, we're going to go take the number. Where are we? We're going to go take the three horse soldier rising. We're going to go three, four, seven, five in the super factor. Three, four, seven, five super. Top selection of three horse soldier rising. Three year old gallon by Frankel. Christoph Clot trains when Jose Ortiz gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came the 23rd of October at Belmont. A mile and one eighth in the grade two hill prints. And he finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths. And he was drawn 11 11, which is not ideal. He had a very wide trip. He moved a little bit late, but public sector of the stable mate, or excuse me, the Chad Brown horse just had the jump on him really ran decently coming here to a longer trip gets get a, a longer trip lower post draw i think he can get a lot better trip and i think he can really run a good race today two back in the jockey club derby at belmont a mile and a half on the 18th of september and uh he finished second by two and a half lengths there and he kind of stalked away around but your beer just really took off clear and went and won for fun keep in mind your beer won next start out in the Brewers cup turf um so he got beat by a decent horse but he, he he really ran decently there with a longer trip and then prior to that in the saratoga derby at saratoga mile 316 seventh of august he's been second by length he's at back early. He didn't break that well, but really closed up well. State of rest for O'Brien really just won for fun. Keep in mind, he won next start out in Australia in the Cox Plate, their equivalent basically of the British Cup Classic. So he got beat by, you know, the horses that next start out basically won four or five million dollars and beat very good horses in their division. So coming here today shouldn't be a problem at all. He's training well in the inner turf course at Belmont. You know, he should handle very, very slight given the ground if that comes to it. We're getting some rain here on Friday in the morning, but it shouldn't be so much. But uh, also keep in mind these turf courses do drain very quickly here in New York at, uh, especially at Aqueducts you know the, the newest turf course is in New York so uh, you know that shouldn't be a worry uh, I don't even know why I mentioned it but at 5 to 1 I think he's on the up and up let's use him um, you know second league least winner is the four horse serve the king five year old horse by Kingman Chad Brown trains I read T's Jr. gets the mount he read a massive place in the um, in the turf classic of Belmont over, over the mile and a half the Rock Emperor just had the jump on in the stay of mate late but this horse really put on a show I thought for the place and then before then the mile five eights john's call at saratoga winning by a half length closing up from mid pack i thought again that was a good race he might want a little bit longer but off those last two runs he could definitely win this race at three to one we could use him on the multis but to recap my selection for the ninth from aqueduct it is the grade two two hundred thousand dollar red smith let's take the three horse soldier rising give kudos to the four horse serve the king three four seven five super three four in the multi race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kit five good luck everybody